Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and in this video we're going to reorganize the code that we have for our table view demo. We're basically going to take everything that we've had stuffed into our start method and we're going to break it down into uh, individual classes to make it easier to manage as we go forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename our main class. We right click on the class, we will go to refactor, rename, and I'm going to call this table view demo. And next, I'm going to right click on the application package and create a new class. And I'm going to call that main view. In main view, I'll create a constructor. In the constructor, I'm going to call a method called buildUI. Now that method doesn't exist, so I'll use Eclipse to create the method. Now in this method, this is where we're going to create the main user interface for our program. So we're going to go back to table view demo into our start method, and we're going to essentially take everything out of that. And we're going to move everything into our main view, into the build UI for now. We're going to go back and now in our start method, the only thing that we're going to have in here is a call to main view. So we're going to create main view. We're going to reorganize our imports just to clean things up. Go over to main view. Now in this build UI method, we have a lot of code that's related to a table view. So what I'm going to do here is, and again, I'm going to break it down further. I'm going to take all of the table view code and put it in its own class. So again, right click on the application package, create a new class, and I'm going to call this person table view. Create a constructor. And again, in the constructor, I'm going to do a call to build UI. Once again, doesn't exist, so I'll use Eclipse to create that method. And in that method, then I'm going to go back to main view and take everything that relates to a table. cut and paste into our build UI method. And back here, I'm going to create a private instance variable of type person table view. I'll just call it table since it's the only table that we're going to have in this class for now. And in the build UI, I will say table equals new person table view. And we see here we have an issue because we need something that descends from node in order to add it to our scene graph. So, which means we have to make a decision as to what we're going to use as a parent class for the table view. So what I normally like to do is to simply extend from one of two classes, either the HBox or the VBox. So in this case, I'm going to extend VBox. Again, organize the imports, save that, go back to our main, and now that error disappears. Primary stage, we don't have so I'm going to just up here, just create a new one. We're going to just ignore the initial stage that we were given by the application object. And we're just going to create our own. So down here, then we'll say stage equals new stage. We'll give it a explicit stage style and 
and we'll use the decorated, which is the default, but we're just going to be explicit about it just so that there's no question. And we'll spell this properly. And now we will make changes to the variable that's referenced. Organize the imports, save. We'll go back now to our person table view. I'm going to, in here, create an instance variable of type table view. So, so this class is going to extend the vertical box, but it is going to have an instance variable of type table view. So we're going to use composition in order to uh, build this class. We have to tell it what type of object is going to be displayed in the table. And now we'll just make a couple of changes to the code. So we're going to reference our instance variable. We're going to set the table editable to true. We're also going to take these uh, other definitions for the columns, and I'm also going to move those up to their own instance variable as well. that. Same thing for the last name column. Get rid of that. And now for the age column, the same thing. For now, I'm going to leave the addition of these records to the table view right here. Eventually, we're going to create an add and a remove method. So we have the table view demo, whose only function now is to launch the application. So it creates a new main view. The main view is going to be whatever we want the end user to see once we start the application. So we're going to have a border pane. Say, for example, we were going to create a new desktop program. We'd have the border pane, which has our, which has room at the top for our menu or our tool button. We have the content area, main content area right in the center. And on the left, we have room for other things. And on the right, same thing. Because we're using composition and now the table is simply a private instance variable within this class, we now have to add this table to this class itself. So we'll go down to the bottom of this class and we'll do a get children dot add table. And now we should have the same result as before. We should be able to see the table and the table contents. There we are. We can select individual rows. We can double click and those elements are again editable. And we can also sort and everything works the same as it did before we started breaking things up into individual components. Next item of business is to provide a way to add records into the table from outside of the table. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move these uh, mock additions, if you will, back to our main view just to have somewhere to put them just for the moment. And I'm going to go back into the table person table view and I'm going to create a method. And that method is going to be called Add, so it's going to be public, void, add, and the add method is going to accept a parameter of type person. And once we have that person object passed through, we're going to use the table, so it will be table dot get items dot add person. 
So now we have a method that will handle the addition of new records to our table. Back to main view. Now here we were directly accessing the table, but now that we no longer have access directly to that table, since it is now a private instance variable in our person table view class, we've had to provide a method to replace what we were doing before. We have an add method. So we're going to use that. So now we will say table dot add and the person. And now if we run the program again, we will see the same results as before, but now things are broken down and much more easy to visualize, much easier to manage, even though this is a very small program at this point. So let's run that and yeah, same as before. So in the next episode, we're going to continue uh, with the table view control. We're going to build up some more elements in our user interface. We're going to build a form to allow us to enter the first name, last name, and age. And we're going to be able to add that to our new table view custom class. And we're also going to further enhance our person table view class to allow removal or deletion of records from the table. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we will continue to enhance our person table view class and also continue our exploration of the Java FX table view. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment area below. I appreciate you spending your time with me today. Until we meet again, please take care and keep on coding.